Next question, question 9. Directions for the following 5 items. Consider the following information and answer the 5 items that follow. There are 5 persons in a group P, Q, R, S and T. The group has 1 doctor, 1 lawyer and 1 artist. Can we just write that down? 1 doctor, 1 lawyer, 1 artist. Okay. P and S are unmarried students. So, first information. P and S unmarried and students. So, we know that. Now, T is a man married to one of the group members. So, just like in the previous relationship problems, I will be using some notations here. I will just go through it quickly. Uh, whenever there is a male person, I will represent that person using uh, a square box. That is, if I write a square and put A inside, it means A is a male person. And if, if I put B and circle it, it means B is a female person. So, uh, this is a notation I use. Uh, so, for I'll just... Uh, you can use your own notations. So, in such question, it is always useful uh, to uh, have such notations so that we can quickly draw figures and make sense of, and may, uh, like de uh, break down the big sentences into small diagrams that we can use to quickly solve the answers. So, if we do this and then uh, married couples, I rep I usually do like this a equal to b so that means a and b are married and a is the husband and b is the wife this is the what that notation means so siblings i usually uh, do by if there are two brothers uh, sorry uh, two sisters then i use this kind of notation instead of equal to i just connect with a single line or if there is a brother and sisters i will I'll just connect it using this and parent parents and son relation I usually draw like this if I draw uh, into we don't need uh, sorry, C, D. if I draw like this it means uh, a uh, C and D are uh, e and D are um, brothers. Uh, a is the father of C and D, and B is the mother of C and D. So such notations. You can come up with such your own notations. Uh, no problem. So I will be using such notations in uh, relationship problems. Uh, so in case if I have missed out any, uh, I will explain it while I draw uh, uh, such notations. So here it looks like we don't need much of this notations so but in big problems in family problems uh, having such notations come in handy so okay anyway so it, it is given t is a married man to one of the group members so second information is t is a married man and is married to some person in the group only but we don't know who um, and it is given q is the brother of p so three q uh, sorry, Q is the brother of P. So Q is a male person and is a brother of P. Uh, so we don't know the gender of P. Uh, we just know Q is the brother of P. And um, is neither doctor nor an artist. So here, since P and S are unmarried students, uh, the rest of the group, some uh, Q, we, we have Q, R and T. So these people, uh, the, there should be a doctor, lawyer and artist among these three people. So it is given Q is, uh, Q is neither doctor nor artist. So Q has to be the lawyer. So we have Q is uh, the lawyer. He got Q as lawyer. Since Q, uh, uh, these three people should be either doctor, lawyer or artist. And Q is not a doctor or an artist. Q has to be the lawyer. And it is given R is not a doctor. Q is already lawyer. Now only two professions left. That is a doctor and an artist. So R is not a doctor. That means R is an artist. So we'll just use that for R. 
आर एस एन आर्टिस्ट तो बट हियर एस यू कैन सी पी एंड एस आर अनमेरिड स्टूडेंट्स सो देर हैज टू बी ए कपल एम एंड क्यू आर टी एंड इट इज गिवन टी इज मैरिड मैन टू टी इज मैरिड टू ए पर्सन इन दिस ग्रुप ओनली सो टी इज मैरिड एदर टू क्यू और आर सो बट वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट क्यू इज ए मेल पर्सन सो क्यू टी हैज टू बी मैरिड टू आर सो वी हैव दैट इंफॉर्मेशन ऑल्सो टी इज आर सो वी हैव आर्टिस्ट एंड सिंस द ओनली जॉब टी हैज टू बी डॉक्टर so am a doctor lawyer artist we got q as lawyer and r as artist so the only profession left is t as doctor so we got t as doctor so t is doctor married to r uh, r is an artist and q is a lawyer and p and s are unmarried students we don't know the, the third gender so we got all the information uh, to answer the questions i will just use this information that we wrote first we have we need uh, the first three one only so we'll take since i already wrote r as an artist here so these three information will be used uh, to solve the questions so we will take up the five questions there are five questions that follows so we'll take up one by one so first question is who is the doctor so i'll just paste the information we got earlier to here so and see uh, the doctor is t a so we have a yes, is the answer t is our doctor so we will take up next question who is the artist so we will just sorry so artist is r as you can see we already got r as our artist so c is the right answer who is the artist r so let me just do one thing okay we'll go to the next question who is the spouse of r so we already have t and r are married people uh, spouse of r is t so we get b sorry uh b as our answer spouse of r is t so next question who is the lawyer here as you can see uh lawyer is uh q we already got lawyer as q so option b is the right answer for who is the lawyer q is the lawyer we'll take up next question so we who of the following is definitely a man so as you can see p gender of p we don't know s we don't know we don't have any information to uh, um say the gender of p and s but we know that q is male person since it is given q is the brother of p so q is a male person so we can say the correct answer is c question 13 c is the solution so all five questions we have solved so we'll just go through once again 11 9 let me just okay 13 all five questions uh, so uh, this was fairly simple relationship uh, question based on relationships so just keep in mind of this not uh, writing uh, drawing the from the breaking down the statements into some figures like this so that we can easily answer the questions so probably in the later csats we will have complicated family relationship problems then i will explain this notations more in such questions okay, so this is these are the solution to question five questions question 9 a question 10 c question 11 b question 12 b question 13 c